Now we're going to look at a couple of representative health information sites to demonstrate our critical evaluation of ABC, Authority, Bias, and Currency. First, let's look at kidshealth.org. This is a site devoted to pediatric health information. Notice that there are separate portals for parents, kids, teens, and educators. I invite you to take a look at each of the portals on your own, as it is well worth the time. For now, let's exercise our critical evaluation skills and find out more about this site in general. First, we'll click on the About Kids Health link at the bottom of the page. So, what is this site's authority for the information that it provides? We see a few paragraphs down that it is the product of the Nemours Foundation Center for Children's Health Media. If we look further down the page, We can find out more about the Foundation and the Center for Children's Health Media, which is a nonprofit organization devoted to improving the health of children. There is a list of the Foundation's major initiatives toward the bottom of the page and of the awards kidshealth.org has received. As for the information posted on the site, Scrolling back up the page a bit, we see that all Kids Health articles, animations, games, and other content go through a rigorous medical review by pediatricians and other medical experts. This blue link within the paragraph opens to a list of the site's expert reviewers and their credentials. It seems obvious from all of this that the site is very authoritative, but if we needed further proof, we could click on the About Nemours at the bottom of the page, Partners, or Editorial Policy, and find out more. What about Bias, then? As discussed earlier, that criterion can be a bit trickier to detect because bias is often subtle. As with other sites, we have to start by considering the source and whether or not there may be potential for bias given the nature of the source. In this case, the Nemers Foundation is an independent, not-profit organization without any apparent agenda other than promoting children's health. Neither do any of the educational partners listed on this site seem inherently biased for any reason. Although there are some commercial entities listed on that page, the site does not host any advertisements from these or any other companies, nor does it refer readers to any specific products in its information pages. If we want to confirm our initial appraisal of the site, we could try to find some potentially controversial topics on the information pages to see if the authors seem to come down firmly on one side or another. Just to demonstrate this point, let's take a look at the site's response to the MMR immunization and autism debate. Reading over this brief summary of the history and evidence for the controversy, it seems a balanced and fair assessment by one of the chief medical editors. I think it's safe to conclude at this point that kidshealth.org is a non-biased resource as well as an authoritative one. Our final criterion for evaluation is currency. Always check for a date on health information posted online. With Kids Health, 
That's fairly easy, as they consistently provide such information. If we look at the bottom of this page on vaccines and autism, we see the information was last reviewed a year ago. Just to make sure this isn't a fluke, let's go to the general health section on the left sidebar. And then we'll go ahead and choose aches, pains, and injuries. And then go to is it a medical emergency. Scrolling down to check the date, we notice there are three pages, so we'll choose that last page. And you can see it was last updated April 2013. So it seems that kidshealth.org is also a current site, as well as an authoritative and unbiased one. Now we'll turn our attention to a very different sort of health information site, Prigmaton. This is apparently an herbal remedy for retinitis pigmentosa from Gordon's Herbal Research Center. What is Gordon's Herbal Research Center? Well, there doesn't seem to be much about them on this site. As you see, there's no About Us link or much else to inform the user about the source of this page. However, we can see that it is a commercial enterprise from its .com domain. Let's take a look at the background page. Here we are presented with the story of a man who is apparently to remain nameless and his quest for an effective herbal treatment for his and others chronic retinitis pigmentosa. Eventually, he gets together with a group of entrepreneurs at Gordon's Herbal Research Center who are described as on a mission to document the therapeutic effects of all herbal plants in order to discover products that can be patented and be suitable for marketing. The only other information we can find on this site about this company is by looking at the Contact Us page. Here we find out that they are located in New Zealand. Perhaps more could be found on this company if we researched it elsewhere. But from all this lack of ready information, we must conclude that this site is not authoritative. Likewise, its apparent bias, as stated in its mission on the background page, and from the company's commercial interest in promoting this product, means that it fails the bias test as well. So what about currency? A quick glance at the pages in the site does not reveal any last updated information. But let's make sure. Let's see if the citations listed on the research page are fairly up to date. Oh, but it seems there are no citations from actual publications on this page to document their research. That doesn't look good for more reasons than just the lack of a date. So it would seem that this site fails on all three criteria, authority, bias, and currency. We won't be referring users to this site. In summary, we've looked at examples of a good and bad health information site. In order to try out the ABC criteria evaluation technique. In the next segment, Kay will go over the basics of medical research so that you can help your users better understand those health news reports in the media. But first, be sure to test your knowledge of evaluating online health information by checking out the quiz attached to this segment.